Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick review on a new fragrance that I saw on Sephora. As soon as I saw this dropped, I had to pick it up. You can get this in both the large and the travel size, and I picked it up in the travel. It's from the brand Clean Reserve, and this is the Sparkling Sugar Scent. I saw the notes, the description of this. I knew I had to pick it up, and it also says you can pair this with the Clean Skin Scent, which is my personal favorite scent. Probably my favorite scent of all time is this scent from Clean Reserve. It's the skin scent, it's the reserve blend, though their regular clean skin is apparently the same as this. This is just the special packaging, which I think is beautiful. And also the sparkling sugar comes in this really beautiful packaging. This is the 3.4 ounce and it retails for 148 Canadian. And I decided to pick up the travel and the mini size is $39. You get 10 milliliters in the travel. It is not a roller ball, it is a spray which is my preference. I do like a spray format. This is an Eau de Parfum. It is a fresh gourmand, which I love gourmand scents. They're my favorite to wear, especially one that's musky. And this one does have a white musk to it, which I thought would be perfect. The keynotes of this are black currant, cassis berries, peach nectar, and white musk. The fragrance family is warm and spicy and the scent type is warm and sweet gourmand. On the box it says it's a fresh gourmand and I definitely smell the freshness in this particular scent. I don't think it's too warm though. Even though it's described as a warm and sweet gourmand, I don't get the warmth like I do in the clean skin. This says it's a layerable scent, specifically with the clean skin, and I can definitely see that because there's elements to it which really appeal to me, though I would all day every day still pick the clean skin, but for those of you who are familiar with the brand or that scent and wanna know my thoughts on this new one, I'm gonna break it down for you. So let's spray some. I think this fragrance is particularly well-timed because what I get from this is kind of a peach champagne scent. That's where I get the sparkling sugar. There is like a slight bit of musk to it, but I honestly just smell fresh and sweet to this. I don't find it as warm on my skin as say this one. This one's definitely warm on my skin. This is on the more fresh side, which I don't typically reach for, but I can see why these elements would just add to a scent like this. And I do really like it. I wouldn't purchase the full size though, but I'm also not returning it. So that's kind of my overall thoughts. It's not my favorite scent ever, but it is definitely one that I'm going to use and reach for. As I said, this is particularly good for this time of year where I'm filming this review. I feel like this would be a good New Year's Eve scent for me. It's very light though. And I feel like this is even lighter than the clean skin scent. So this one doesn't wear as long. I know a lot of people have some issues with the wear of this EDP. However, for sparkling sugar, I find it's even less in my experience. It doesn't wear as long as even the clean skin. I haven't smelt Radiant Nectar from the brand as well, but I've heard a lot of people say that you don't need this if you have Radiant Nectar because they're very similar in a sense. This does smell better as it dries down on my skin, which I feel like it's most fragrance for me when I get that initial spray. I do smell a very strong freshness to the scent, which for me, I need it to settle down because I do love it to warm up on my skin, which this definitely does. It does have a slight warm element to it, but I wouldn't describe it as warm because I have way warmer scents than this. It's definitely sweet and fresh. There's no floral at all to this, so if you aren't a fan of florals, you'll probably really like this if you just like something really light. It's not offensive. It doesn't have high projection. You walk into a room, you're not gonna smell this on me. You're definitely gonna have to lean in to smell this particular scent. I think it definitely is a good addition if you like this, just to add that sweetness to skin and also that freshness. If that's something that maybe was missing for this for you, cause it is a layerable scent. I love the brand Clean. They have a bunch of things that are amazing about them. They're sustainable, eco-conscious, this is recyclable. They have transparency to their ingredients and it's vegan. So if that's something that you're looking for, Leaping Bunny approved, definitely check out the Clean Reserve scents from Sephora. I will link both US and Canada down below for you guys to check out. That is my overall thoughts and opinions. I know this is a super short video. I probably in the future 
make little short fragrances if you guys are interested in that. But I know this is definitely searchable and people are wanting to know kind of what this smells like, how it compares to other scents. And it's definitely not one that I'm gonna be running to buy the full size, but I'm 100% gonna be using this up because I do like it. It's just not one of my favorites. I hope this helps you out. If you're into like a sparkling peach scent, I feel like you'd like it. It's not super peach, like Tom Ford bitter peach. Like that is straight up peach for me. This is definitely sparkling peach wine is my best way to describe it. Very fresh and light and something I do feel like a lot of people will like. I don't think it's overly special and I do think that this particular scent saying it's a Larable scent and how you can pair it with skin is what really sells this for me personally because I feel like sometimes maybe I want to mix skin with something else and I feel like this adds the right amount of elements to it just to make it a little bit more special for the day to add that in. If you're similar to me, definitely go in store and check this out, spray it first. It is a fairly safe blind buy, I feel, if those notes speak to you specifically, because it's fairly simple, non-offensive, and if you know what clean reserve scents are like, they're definitely very mild in their projection and something I feel like is safe for most people. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video for wanting to know my opinion on the new sparkling sugar scent from Clean Reserve. I hope this helps you out in your decision to whether to buy or pass this one. And if you've not checked out Clean Skin before, you definitely need to check that one out first because I feel like that's a great introduction to the brand and Honestly, like look at this. This was all this year and I have so many scents for me to make this kind of indentation on that one is a big deal. So that's going to be it. If you have not subscribed already, I would absolutely love for you to join the family here by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos and I will see you guys in my next one.